So hey, welcome back once again to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and this is Sunday. And today we are talking about Walmart once again. There are some things that have been happening this past week that I think you all should know about. Plus, I also have video footage that I took myself behind the Walmart that I deliver to so you all can see and have video proof of what is going on. And you're going to see this huge permanent storage facility separate than from the store itself outside. Now, some of the things that's been going on in the news with Walmart, have you all heard that now all of a sudden they want to get into the refurbishment business? So they're going to start selling refurbished products to you in the stores and online to try and make more money because it's going to be cheaper. It's something you can afford. But how good is it going to be? Is it going to work? How long will it last? When you buy something that is refurbished, if you can't get a warranty with it or something like that, you have to be very cautious of what you are purchasing. Now, is this a good move for Walmart? I don't know. They already sell stuff so cheap, you know, and some of the stuff is very cheaply made. So who knows where this is going to go and how this is going to play out and who is really going to benefit from them starting to sell all this refurbished merchandise. Now, something you have to take and consider. I was talking with the receiving manager and they are just getting bombarded with all types of goods and services and everything else. The trucks keep rolling in nonstop. They get two general merchandise trucks per night and they get two trucks with food products on them. Obviously, the ones with the food products are unloaded as immediately when they come in. The drivers back onto the door and most generally, they will either stay there until it's unloaded. If there is an empty trailer for them to take, they'll leave and there'll be another truck that comes and then he will do the same thing. Either he waits or if there's an empty, he will pull it away. Very rarely do the trucks leave without a trailer of some sort. Now, sometimes they do do that, but they are just getting hammered. Their back room is very full. They have very little room to move. And they are working like crazy to try to get all this merchandise out onto the floors, which is becoming a very difficult task for these people to do. One would have to ask yourself, you know, if all these stores are in this predicament, now this particular Walmart that I deliver to, it is a very highly populated area. It's out towards Walt Disney World. There's a lot of traffic that comes in there, a lot of tourists that are renting all the Airbnbs in my area. You know, they go in there, they do all their food shopping and everything else. So it's not like there's not a lot of traffic in this store. This store is busy all the time. It doesn't matter what time of day you go by there, that parking lot is full. It's a lot of tourists and everything else. And this is one of the reasons why they move a lot of product. But they can't keep up with it. They're getting more product in than it's going out the front door. And now they got to start making room because Walmart is going to be getting into the refurbishment business. I don't think it's a really good idea, but that's just my opinion. You put in the comments below what you think. Now, I want you guys to watch this video clip and I hope that everybody out there, you stay safe, you keep prepping and pay attention to this video clip. You're going to see this outside huge storage facility that's permanently in place that they use and it is full. They have to keep rearranging stuff in there to try to make room. They can stack pallets. There's racks in there. They can stack them so they're too high. There's one on the floor, one on the second level. It's pretty amazing, folks. So until next time, 
I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. Enjoy this following video clip. This is a massive outside storage unit at my Walmart I deliver to. As you can see, there's pallets outside waiting to be put inside by a forklift at this point in time. This building is huge. It is almost as long as a football field. And this is where they are storing a lot of their products and stuff as far as general merchandise. As you're going to see here in a second, there are pallets even over on the ramps waiting to be stored outside because the back room of Walmart at, that I deliver to is cram full. This is your proof that there are so many things taking place right now and the stuff is just being shoved down their throats and they cannot turn it away. It is just a shame what is taking place and how stuff sets outside and this massive outside permanent storage facility behind my Walmart. 